three references in that I'm cutting through, which I'd just like to be aware of, just in case you don't know. Um, Al Kapoor is the Sikh name for the, their god. Um, Gudrawar is a Sikh temple. And um, the five thieves are the five sins that were, that were robbed of the kingdom of heaven. It's written from a Sikh farmer's point of view. <coughs> I am cut in three, my flesh scattered to opposite parts of the world. The British Raj divided my country with a stroke of a pen, and we had to move. I reasoned with my sons, the soil will be the same, the seasons will not change, our land is one continuous plain. But they raged like crazed tigers, and they uprooted with such anger and bitterness, I knew something would give. But this, O oh Al Kapoor, not this. Param, Samir, Amman came to me after just one season following the terrible move with their passports and visas. Australia, England, Canada. I wanted to tear my chemise, throw off my turban, and cut my hair. But I held myself, though in my heart I cried. Don't be deceived by the five thieves, I said. Wherever you find yourself, be sure to build a good wire. Then I gouged my sword into the Punjabi soil and made a thick cut. A trunk, I said, and I marked three branches for my three borders. Remember your roots. Keep your faith and go in peace. I hung them one by one, and then they were gone, like jet smoke in the sky, and the tiger in me lay down to die. So my parents, um, their parents had to move north from uh, Unrisa to the hall. My Grandparents on the mother's side moved to a small village, which ironically you can see in Google Earth, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> and, and the protagonist of this is my grandfather. The two boys that I mentioned at the end of the poem are my, my, myself and my brother. And it's one of the crops that my grandfather used to grow sugar canes. With roots dug deep in soil, the sugar canes grow for and suck earth's blood. All summer I have prayed to the gods that dream of clouds. I have watched my sugar canes grow, slept with them in their thick neck to sleep. Our ripened sticks are crowned with fine juices of mud and sunshine. This is the month of winter, and I carry a heavy serrated knife. The sugar canes whisper psalms, thanking the sun, thanking the mud, filling me with the crystals of fair hours. We are dead, but for a short while. And I hack, 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 and I stack, 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 and it is evening. My mule complains of the Lord. In my mud-dry yard, I grind the sugar canes, crushing out the sun that splashes like sunshine into huge clay jars. My wife scissors the juices, hundreds of bubbles surface and burst, singing the air with the sweetness of their soul, making of my house of mud a field of ghost sugar canes. My wife scoops out warm chunks of brown sugar. She feeds our two boys. They digest the sun and the mud. So this is the tenuous link and the big jump geographically and in time. It's seven Danu. Um, Danu uh, is a very strong SLP constituency, so I was quite surprised when somebody also had a massive Union Jack during the Diamond Jubilee, and this is my reaction to 
down to the lid. Scents of sizzling onions and garlic topped with chilli, healthy ginger and salt swirl over the low gardens and neatly cropped hedges. I'm listening to Sufi chanting as I add and mix the three darns and twirl them in a pot. A neighbour is putting up a massive Union Jack. It unfurled some fear in me since the far right spread hate and lies while waving it with pride. And then I'm ashamed of the jihads who hijack the phrase Allah Akbar. God is great. I say it with each waking breath, and when I break bread, the flag and phrase say it all. Union, Commonwealth, or else we fall. And just to give you an idea of uh, where I live, this next poem is called Blake It's a walk which I've probably done over a hundred times in the last 15 years, and it's crystallised into this poem. Glenview. Those steep hills may seem ordinary, but if you look, and look, how the bronze bracken yields to the copper green converse, how the silver in the sky shifts by a thousand subtle tones, how those elemental frequencies resonate with the elements in my blood. Just now, there are splashes of sun in the streams. And look where the water breaks over rocks. Those bright drops are like sparks falling from a furnace. Note how the jagged slopes splice the cream of the low clouds. How small birds lift from the ground, taking into the sky some essence of the soil. How their songs and the whispered sounds of the trees and my breathing, our breathing, our long breath blends with the skins of the sun. And to conclude, uh, the title, the provisional title of my fourth book, coffee, will come out sometime, maybe this decade, this century. <laughs> um, Refugees, which returns back to the theme of migration. When the fisherman casts his line out to sea, a splinter of light loops along the brief curve, and the slight line becomes an unbroken cord that connects him to the vast mass of the sea's dark, to the carefree movement of shoals, and to some primeval instinct of survival. His son along the beach lifts a kite into the deep blue. The boy gauges the weight of the wind with his fingers. He is envious of birds, their freedom of flight, and how mighty birds cross borders without visas, papers, or fuss. His kite is now a white dot floating alongside the evening star. He releases the string and watches the kind of vanish in the twilight. And he imagines a girl finding it caught in a tree, hanging limp like an idea of hope, freedom, peace, a life without explosions, gunfire, screaming and crying. He longs for an ordinary childhood. His father winds in a silvery fish that twists and splashes in shiny arcs. Slowly, the sky is flayed by the quiet blades of the stars. The man whispers grace over the savory scents of smoked fish. As they eat the lean meat, he points out the constellation of stars that mark the edge of the galaxy. Beyond that, he says, there are many, many galaxies and many, many gods, each seeking and asking and asking. Thank you.